And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Gangplank. This is a special kind of Ezreal Gangplank deck. This is a pretty spicy one, I guess we should say. We are going to be dealing damage to our opponents <clears throat> and all of their units. And we have like a powder keg special. Like we're not only using powder kegs with Dreadway Deckhand, Petty Officer, and Gangplank. But then we're also upping the damage with Funsmith. And that's kind of what our deck's built around, is Funsmith and Powder Kegs deal, having all of our spells and skills deal extra damage. We even have Dreadway at the top end as well to be able to double all the damage by those. And so basically just kind of adding up all these things, we can do some really silly stuff. Like if we have a Funsmith in play and then play a Riptide Rex, that gets insane where each, each Cannon Barrage deals three or two. Um, with that fun smith so that's kind of what our deck's about it's just like a ezreal's kind of like a, a backseat character to um, all of our damage spells and fun smith um, but ezreal does a good job of finishing out games so does gangplank and of course dreadway riptide rex these things can finish out games so pretty cool little deck here we're gonna go take it over to ranked and we're gonna be playing our five games and seeing how we do in ranked with uh, PNZ, Bilgewater, Bunsmith, Ezreal, and Gangplank. So just calling it Ezreal Gangplank basically because that's our champions. Um, and so that's that's why we're naming it this. But it's going to be a Funsmith based deck. Well, that's a little different. Alright, so we have Dreadway Deckhand, Ezreal... Oh, we're playing against Anivia Trindamere. So, Anivia Trindamere. I actually think I want to keep one of these five drops. I'm not sure which one. Uh, but I do want to just have a five drop on curve. I guess it's going to be Gangplank. <laughs> okay. I was like, come on, opponent. It's turn one. This is only two damage. Playing Ezreal first only does an extra one point of damage, though. So yeah, they just do this. So they they would be at twenty either way. I think it does make sense to to get Ezreal in play though instead of playing nothing. Fun Smith, what is up? Okay, we'll do the Static Shock while it deals two. Basically just draw a card with that. Catalyst of Aeons and Avalanche, as I say all the time, those two cards are awesome. Would have rather had Chump Bump. Yeah, but those two cards are awesome. So basically, we just traded our 2-drop and our 3-drop for two avalanches. It visually looks like they're sweeping up multiple things, but they're just killing some powder kegs. So like those aren't that big of a deal. Okay, a 5-8. Currently at 3 out of 5 for Gangplank. We should probably level up our Gangplank. A adjustment for a lot of power. Let's play this Funsmith. They brave or, stupid. or I just take it. I'm just going to take it. But I want to level up Gangplank. That's what, the, the only reason why I'm playing Mega Rain there is to level up Gangplank. Get that going. Okay, so we gotta play the parlay. So that's one mana. Or you know, Mystic Shot, whatever. So we have like six mana. Let's go. Um, let's go Petty Officer. 
That's a good one to get. Okay. It's gonna do four. Try to kill that thing with the parlay. Awesome. Level up gangplank. One damage short of killing that 3-7. I like this Funsmith. This is pretty sweet. All this extra damage. So I either... Cast Gotcha on my Petty Officer to keep them from gaining life, or I cast it on the Tarkaz, the Tribalist, to keep my Gangplank alive. And we're gonna cast it over there to keep the Gangplank alive. So they'll keep their 3 5. But I get to keep Gangplank. Nine mana? That just does an extra two damage if we cast it right now because the Funsmith and Powder Keg. I got ways to find me mushrooms. All hands on deck. Nice. Someone hawks a great one drop to hit. Yeah. All right, they're staying alive. You're away for a bit, and then come back by none other than a Funsmith. That is right. I'm not saving these for Ezreal. I am getting them in their deck right now. Give them more chances to draw these buff caps. Because I want them drawing them. I want to do 6 damage with them. And we'll play Ezreal on their turn here. Like We don't really need to play Ezreal first. Um, I thought you'd never ask. Do not stand in my way! We're at 15. Can take 8. But I don't want to just play Ezreal first and like give them a, a good ruination. Oh no! How do I keep losing to Atrocity? The third time we played against this deck today, and all three times we've lost to Atrocity. Ugh, that card. <laughs> wow, you've lost to, to Atrocity twice today in Expeditions? That's some bad luck. Alright, more big stuff. Let's get rid of the gotchas. And Gangplank... I'll just keep Gangplank. I'm just going to keep my 5-mana champion. Just an awesome card. So we have this for the Herald of Dragons. Okay, no Herald of Dragons. Yeah, even though the blocking is the safe play to stay alive, but it's not a it's not the best play of killing my opponent through, you know, like how they have their different removal spells and stuff, but that was a game that I did not think we were going to lose. They had the, the double Withering Whale after the Ruination, which was perfect. And then after that, you know, Trindomir Atrocity. And we did end up losing, but I thought we were going to have that one. They just have four mana. Probably attacking first. 
intrigued about playing Ezreal first. Okay, kind of glad we didn't. There's plenty of killing there. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. I honestly don't mind that. Ezreal's really not that important to us. I mean, just trades one for one with a single combat. That's really not that big of a deal. Only at one out of five for Gangplank. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. I'm playing the Funsmith first before the Gangplank so that they can't just challenge my Powder Keg. Oh, spell shield. I rarely Thank you, Nenuel. New donation deck. Taric Trundle buff. Hopefully they're out of single combats now. Alright, write that down. What did they just use? They just played another single combat? How do they have all these single combats? They can't have any more, right? Can they have more than three? Probably, probably can't have more than three, right? I mean, I don't want to say they can't. Who knows what they could have? I don't want to say they definitely can't have more single combats. But I'm still feeling pretty good about this one. We got them down to six right now. Draw some puff caps. Last opponent did not draw any puff caps. They did not um, did not help me out by drawing any puff caps. Hopefully this opponent does. My, how they stare. Nope. That would have been a good time to draw a puff cap too. Can't draw puff caps, can they? Well, it's going to be difficult to close this one out now. Okay, we're killing that thing. 
killing one blocker to at least kill one blocker. So much for that. You need a dreadway. They still won't draw a puff cap. So they're not free, but they're awesome cards. Don't really feel like we need to continue playing, but Time for walkies, boy. I guess we will. Alright, now Gangplank's leveled up. Your king has returned. Of course, get to challenge and kill the powder kegs, but I can't risk passing and then they pass. So I'm likely to. I need to go to, like, attackers right away. Why don't you just... Why don't you just challenge and kill that thing? I have no cards in hand. Why do they even waste the mana? To the stars. So while we could trade... Um... For us to win this game, we're going to need to, like, we, we could trade and then keep them from getting that free card, but for us to win this game, we're going to need to, uh, you know, get this damage in with this and draw really well. Every fight spell, every single combat, concerted strike. So certainly not a fan of how these games have played out. Looks like it's going to be the same kind of thing. We'll see how Dreadway Deckhand does with these powder kegs, but I, I mean, I just want the cheap units. The chains, they never stop. Uh, I have to be worried about Avalanche, I guess, though, as far as playing Jacket Butcher as a as a two power. But that that's what really makes this Warden's Prey rough is that you know they have that. Um, to block and be able to use Avalanche anyway. Okay, well I guess this maybe isn't a an Avalanche deck. <clears throat> maybe this isn't a, a, a big mana ramp deck. Doing that to play 3 3 Jagged Butcher. Not gonna play the deck hand. No, because if I play deck hand, then I don't get to cast Mystic Shots. And I'd rather be able to cast Mystic Shots. Oh, 
ladies. All right, not the best. So they have three t three times as many cards in hand already on turn four in their hand than what we do. So not the best. Yeah, we're kind of playing a control deck. Nothing but the stink of yeah. blood and sweat. Say your farewells. It's not bragging if you could back it up. I basically don't want them to get all the, the awesome stuff the Curse Keeper does. With that, but you know, they still have like hapless aristocrat, which they can sacrifice anyway. Don't know much, do ya? All right, well, my plan was to kill the four three with that. That was my plan, but I'm going to be trying to protect Ezreal. And Glimpse Beyond is great. I know one of those was an Ezreal Mystic Shot, but just casting those like that would help us get this Ezreal leveled up too. I'm not sure if I want the one cost follower or the powder keg yet. Probably going to want the powder keg. I'm just going to take the powder keg. We'll just do that because we we'll probably want to get the powder keg. Come on. One shot, all skill. Well, we haven't drawn a single card that costs more than three mana. Which is fine for the first couple of turns, but you know it's turn eight, and we just don't have we don't have anything that's been very powerful. I think what our deck is kind of lacking though is card draw. That's that's really what it's looked like is that we could use salvages and things like that. Like we're we're running out of cards really fast in all of these games. And we have we have zero. Yeah, zero cards that draw cards. I guess one. We have two spray fins, but that's it. Oh, and I guess static shock. Static shock can also. So we have a couple. So Thresh is going to be leveled up and bringing in Trindamir, and I can't stop that. We're going to the next game. It's just been a frustrating last eight games. No, we don't have any salvage or progress day or anything like that. Love Chump Lump. That is where it's felt that, that we, we are just running out of gas too fast. Um... You know, it could be that we're not drawn very well. We're drawing a lot of Ezreal's and Jagged Butchers, just kind of in general. So we have like two Dreadways, right? Yeah, there's two Dreadways at the top end. It's our first time seeing one of those. Some days the games just don't go your way. And that's okay, that, that happens for everybody. Kinda wanna play, yeah, I wanna play Jump Womp. So basically I don't want, I don't want to do, really do Jagged Butcher Petty Officer. So I don't really wanna have just two Petty 
petty officers out here and just make Avalanche just incredible. And just make it really backbreaking like that. I'd rather just give them these puff caps and maybe maybe eventually they'll draw puff caps. The earlier we give them to them, the more likely they draw them because it's just the more draw steps they go by. Can see the Nebastian border from here. So again, they get to kill the powder keg, but my plan is to go and open attack with a five-five. These old eyes still see far and clear. And then even if they block the gangplank, wow, they just didn't kill the powder keg. There we go. They actually drew some some puff caps. I'll show them pay. How about that? Definitely setting up Avalanche. I'm not going to let that kill my Gangplank. These opponents keep on using these Glimpse Beyonds to just pull really far ahead, though. We are in the Glimpse Beyond meta. At least that side of the bracket, I guess. Thank you, Sky's Limits. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. That's our second sub of the day. Are they doing four damage? What's gonna be what's gonna be going on here? It was right on my tail. Yeah, I do like I do like Jack the Winner with powder kegs for sure. So I, I'm not casting the make it rain here. I want to cast it on their turn. Get this Nexus damage continually up. Get this gangplank quicker to leveling up. I smell a fight! Okay, well, no Nexus damage there. There we go, Nexus damage. Good job, Puff Caps. So down to 13. They'll have the 9-9. Nine -nine. Trindamir. But now Ruination kills Trindamir. Atrocity does. Alright, let's go to attacks. Hopefully no Withering Whale. And other stuff like that. So if I just take all that, now their A4 is blocking, and then they'll have a regular 9 9. Now they'll have a 9 4. Double Grasp the Undying. Going down to 7. On something that does some damage. No, I meant something that does damage to Trindamir. That's what I meant. I need more runs. Like a Mega Rain would have been great here. Oh, I guess Mega Rain would have done three damage, not four. Down to three. You wanted wrath. Okay. Mystic shot could be clutch. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to do is try to stay out of atrocity range. Yep, that's the plan. Play the 9-drop. And there we go. Now our warning shots will deal 2, so they can't really... You know, if they have any life, life gain, we'll be able to respond. Awesome. Got a game. Okay, so now we just warning shot a couple times. And GG. Two and two. Right? Or are we one and two now? Another trundle deck. We've been playing against a ton of Trundle, Trindamir, Aurelian Soul. Basically Freljord. I wonder how many out of the out of our matches that we've played today have been Freljord, especially our last two decks. Thank you, Mafia Plot. Got a surprise for him. Yeah, those warning shots aren't really much of a warning. They just sink the ship. You can see the Nebastian border from right there. away. So those will be able to kill the powder keg. They'll be able to take down the powder keg. Great. That's a great one drop. Love it. Do you want to get back to work? Nothing escapes my notice. Look out for Reavers. Probably not that much. Alert the villain. So trading the 3 2 away is not a good trade. But if they do have Avalanche, like we're talking about, it would, you know, it'd just get cleared up by Avalanche anyway. These old eyes still see far and clear. Our of course, we're doing the Make It Rain on their turn. So that our Gangplank goes to 3 out of 5. The signal fires. Aren't any guns here? Just me. Alright, Jack. There's the Avalanche. Not the best, but not the worst. Nothing escapes my watch. Gosh, triple Averrosen Sentry. I promised a bloodbath. Gotta go with the flow. And get rid of their blocker. Make them play something else that blocks. Or play some, some other kind of other removal spell or something. Well, unfortunately, that thing does block. It does block very well. I'll have the scrap shot for that thing. They're down to 11. 4 out of 5 for Gangplank. You wanted wrath. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> it's good to be the king. Pass turn back to me. Wow, they did. Lock the door. Water is mine and mine alone. Oh, the flames not the deaths can claim me. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm sure they play Revitalizing Roar and Ruination and all sorts of stuff. Seven, hopefully. Okay, cool. No grass fan dying. That's good. So either put them down to seven or I kill this ice pillar. I'm going to kill the ice pillar. I'll let them have the vulnerable I stuff. Smashing! Get ready for a beatdown! But I'm king! Cool. Wanna pass back? Not once pass back. Alright, down to seven. Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you boo. Not the time to draw Dragon Butcher. Where's our Dreadway? We have two Dreadways. Where are they at? Bleh. They have a ton of cards over there. Us, not so much. But they are down to four life. Yeah, I could got you the 2 2, which would save a two life. Would have waited on the Mega Rain. I don't play this Jagged Butcher to have, um, you know, because of like Ruination and all that kind of stuff, to not just uh, overextend too much. But it is just a Jagged Butcher. I'm glad I didn't gotcha the deck hand. Then we wouldn't have the gotcha for this thing. They have all this because of the unspeakable horror. The unspeakable horror got him the Lunari Priestess, which got him this. Unspeakable horror is pretty good. Our Ezreal to level one up. Very close. Let's get to it. No 
That's how today's been. It has been very annoying. Just all this stuff together. Not really a reason not to trade. Unspeakable horror and all of this. I would like to get the two damage in here and Riptide Rex, and so the next turn I could have Mystic Shot and then Riptide Rex again. see the downside of our deck of just not having card advantage. We have been really running out of cards every single game. And we die to Atrocity again. Definitely what our deck doesn't have and what it needs is card advantage. At least for these matchups, all we're doing is playing against large you know, huge, big ramp decks, and we just run out of cards. We just can't play against anything else. We're only playing against, you know, Aurelian Soul and Trundle decks. Just going bigger, and we have no card advantage. As far as fitting in card advantage to the deck, you know, we're thinking, uh, like, there's a couple of things that draw cards, but not very much. I mean, you're probably looking at, like, the Jagged Butcher Dreadway deckhand slots, and heck, even Ezreal, as the cards that are the least important. Also, the warning shots. This deck probably shouldn't be playing warning shot. Like, Yordle Grifter is probably just going to be better than warning shots. I don't know, but, but like, there's, like, two Sprayfin, two Chumpwump. You could just have, like, more of those kind of cards also. Just three Sprayfin, three Chumpwump. Like, that kind of stuff would help. Being a 5-5 five, five tough is going to be difficult, so we're going to just try to go around it with our elusive. And maybe we can get the Funsmith in play first before we start doing all this extra little damage. So I definitely think they have single combat, how they're just sitting there thinking. That is certainly saying, hi, I have single combat. Give me a weapon 
I'll give it firepower. Virtue guides me. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me. I basically just want to get that in play with the powder keg first. Before anything else happens. Still have Hush available. will force them to use Hush. Yeah, Hush is just an annoying card to play against. That should be everything dying. Yeah, that'd be everything dying, so it's on, on them if they want anything to stay alive. Jeez. I'm, I'm a little too worried about going like the gotcha, the mystic shot to kill the radiant guardian, and then they just play a single combat in response. I'm worried about that. Hopefully this works. Hopefully they don't kill Funsmith. This could be a lot of damage coming in here. Each one of these deal three. And then if it's dead or gone, it deal two instead. Hopefully this works. Find out tomorrow. Oh, there we go. Okay. Burns on. 
Down to nine. Each one of these does three damage with Funsmith in play. Maybe they tap out, and we get to Mystic Shot them to death. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Basically, doing this to level up Gangplank. Um, I could do the slow speed one, but honestly, I kind of want another gangplank just in case this one dies. I don't really want to use that parlay. Devotion to battle. At ten. Levels up Lux. Just gonna keep Gangplank alive. Funsmith is too valuable for them to block and kill. If I would have attacked at that previous turn, it's too valuable. little win there. We got to do our Funsmith plus uh, plus Riptide Rex combo. So that's pretty awesome, getting that combo of, of Funsmith and Riptide Rex. Can't be bad at that. And when we're able to keep, you know, Gangplank's just a really strong card. Being able to keep that out there. I liked our top end quite a bit. We were just playing against decks that went bigger and we were running out of cards a lot. Our deck does seem pretty good against other aggro decks with having uh, these these things like Static Shock, Make It Rain, Petty Officer, you know, like we're going to be pretty good against the, the small unit decks, but we weren't facing those. We were facing all big unit decks and, um, and you know, things weren't really working out because of that. Uh, they were just, they were just going too big and we didn't really have our top end. Like we only drew Dreadway for like one game and played that and, and won that game. That's obviously a big part of our top end. Um, Against those slower decks, we talked about like card advantage, like you know, progress day, salvage. It is hard to find room for those. Um, because like we weren't even really finding like static shock too much. But I think that's maybe one thing to do is maybe trim a static shock. Obviously, it's good with with I mean it can be really good with powder kegs and with funsmith, but that's also only if they're playing small units. It's still not gonna be good against, you know, a bunch of four six regenerates, which is Basically, all we saw were like 4-6 regenerates and 10-10s. Um, sorry, I didn't update the score. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go do that. Uh, 2 and 3. But, 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, Jagged Butcher is going to be a card they'll be good against the early decks, but it, if your opponents are ramping a bunch, you don't really need Jagged Butcher. Kind of the same with Dreadway Deckhand. I'm not, I've never been big on Dreadway Deckhand myself. Just never have. But it's, I will admit, it's probably the best two drop to be playing. But I've never been big on this card. Um, yeah, Static Shock helps Ezreal, and and like I said, you can frequently have this do, have it do two to two things or three to two things, and draw a card, and it can be amazing, if that's the case. But we do kind of need more card advantage in here. Maybe that's another spray fin to draw another spell, another chump lump. Could probably just get rid of, of Warning Shot. Maybe that's something that if you're drawing more cards, we're drawing more things that do Nexus damage. The Warning Shots were pretty weak because, you know, they, they don't trade with the spell. We're, we don't need any kind of Plunder activation except for Riptide Rex. Like Jagged Butcher, you don't, you don't play Warning Shot because of Jagged Butcher. And so really the only other reason to play Warning Shot is just Riptide Rex. And that's like forever, you know, like by that time, like if you're playing card draw, Instead, by by that time, you should have some other way to turn on Plunder for Riptide Rex. Obviously, we didn't that one game, but we didn't. We also didn't have card advantage. So that that could be where you go. You just get rid of Warning Shots, maybe, and then play Salvage or um, either Salvage or uh, Progress Day. Or honestly, what I would probably do is I would just play two more of each of the four mana cards. Both these four mana cards are amazing with Chump Wump and Yordle Grifter. Not Yordle Grifter, whoops, Sprayfin. <laughs> Both those are amazing. I was going to say that you could go Yordle Grifter instead of Chump Wump if you want, even though um, it'll miss quite a bit, you'll still draw a Warning Shot. Like if you want, like instead of just playing regular Warning Shot, I'd rather just have Yordle Grifter that will get you Warning Shot, but then also have some high upside with the Allegiance ability. But whenever Sprayfin drew Warning Shot, didn't like that too much. But Sprayfin, right now, if you play Sprayfin here, it's always drawing Make It Rain or Mystic Shot. So it's always drawing a good removal spell for you. Which, that's pretty awesome. I think that's about it. You can maybe move down on a gotcha. You can maybe play just two gotchas. Also, that's another place that you could probably cut a card. Um, yeah, he said Static Shock was strictly for Ezreal. Maybe Ezreal's not the best for the deck. That's the thing is, the Ezreal, kind of, that was kind of the weak part of our deck though, really, are like the PNZ cards, right? Like your Ezreal, Gotcha, Static Shock. I mean, obviously Funsmith was good and like the decks built around Funsmith. But, these Bilgewater cards are just so strong. It kind of shows like how, you know, you have like Noxus and other other versions of this deck that do really well where like the PNZ isn't, we're not getting the card advantage really from the PNZ where like staying, staying with uh, Bilgewater and going with Yordle Grifter just adds so much to the deck. All right, but hopefully that's hopefully that's some good uh, feedback. I would I think warning shot is really where I would take out of this. Just kind of play a more control style. Have chump chump pumps awesome. Get those get more mushroom clouds. Have that help turn on plunder. Um, and you know spray fin then is always drawing mega rain and mystic shot. And spray fin's not drawing warning shot. I think that's that's just one small change I would do. I would take out those two and and then uh, try it with another chump lump and spray fin. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave uh, any comments, got any suggestions, anything like that. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Ezreal Gangplank, and I'll see you for the next video.